so we have arrived to the conclusion, probably, of Thor's trilogy, and we have reached Thor Ragnarok. Now, Ragnarok is about Loki's sister, Hela, coming back and wreaking havoc on Asgard, set to destroy all of Asgard, and Thor, Hulk, Loki, and this new chick, who was also an uh, Asgardian, has to try and stop her before her diabolical plan comes to light. This movie was awesome. This was how Thor should have been from the beginning. You made him a more relatable character in this movie. He didn't have to be so godlike serious like the second one or had to bring him down to earth to try and make him more human like the first one. All he had to do was have character and you gave it to him. Joss Whedon gave it to him. So thank you for doing that shit. You gave the Hawk a character. He talks now, just like in World War Hawk. I love the fact that they took part of World War Hawk and made it the, the basis setting for Ragnarok. Because, yeah, Ragnarok was coming, and when he gets here, all hell would break loose. So, oof. Yeah, you don't want that shit. But, <clears throat> I like that it gave the Hawk a lot to do in this movie. Especially since he never got his sequel that he should have gotten. Hell, they're playing a World War Hawk 2 comic for next year. So, ooh, that's going to be awesome. Action in this movie is spectacular. I love the villain. I love Kate Blanchett as Hela. I can't wait to see what she does in Infinity War. I'm pretty sure she's going to be in that too, and part two, probably. Because she has to. Ain't her and Thanos a thing in the comics? So, yeah, they got to get to that at some point. That's going to be fucking cool. <laughs> fucking Kate Blanchett and fucking Josh Brolin. Oh, that's going to be sweet. But damn, villain since Loki. Finally, I can say that they gave us a good villain. Finally. Besides Thanos. Oh, and, and Ultron a little bit because it was James Spacey, goddammit. I mean, James Spader, goddammit. Fuck Kevin Spacey. Um... Yeah. Acting all around is brilliant. I love the cast in this movie. I love this new chick in this movie. She's awesome. She is fucking awesome. I still wonder what happens to Lady Sif. Because, you know, I haven't seen her since the Dark World. I don't remember anything happening to her in that movie. I think Hopkins was kind of a waste here. I mean, yeah, he's pretending to be Loki. Because Loki has took over his body. But then when we find out that he actually dies and him and his brother goes to see him before he dies, it was heartfelt. But at the same time, it was like, you kind of just wasted Anthony Hopkins one last time, I guess. And then he warns them about their sister coming down to destroy Asgard and shit. And we get to learn a little bit of the backstory between him and... Their father and Hela's backstory about they, how did they want it. They used to rule shit. But Odin got a little bit more wiser and decided to say, no, don't do this anymore. But Hela was hell-bent on doing shit, so he banished her. So, yeah, that was interesting. I like that part. <clears throat> the biggest waste in this movie, but the best comedic chemistry, was... Jeff Goldblum. He was funny in this movie. He had nothing to do, so he was kind of wasted. But luckily, they gave him good-ass dialogue. So he was he was wasted, but he wasn't forgotten. You know, he had something to do. That was cool. I love Jeff Goldblum. Anytime you can put Jeff Goldblum in the movie, I'm on instantly going to watch this bitch. Now, the two end credit scenes in here. Huh... I like the, the last one where they show Thanos' ship in the uh, end, which will set up pretty much the beginning of Infinity War, where Thanos will probably meet the Guardians of the Galaxy. Because um, as I'm reviewing this movie, the, gar uh, the uh, Infinity War trailer drops a little over 24 hours from now. So 
the internet's gonna die when that happens, and I can't fucking wait. But yeah, um, I don't have too much more to say about Thor Ragnarok other than if you still haven't seen it, go see it. It's fucking amazing. Action is spectacular. The CGI is great. So I will give Thor Ragnarok an A. Let me know what you guys think about Thor Ragnarok down below. Did you like it? Did you not like it? Infinity War is coming. Oh my god. Oh my god. That's gonna be. F I don't even want to. I want to. Uh, ooh. Let's do it. Oh, and if you have seen the Infinity War trailer by now, by the time this video is out, what did you think about it? Let me know down below. 